Hello friend, welcome you again. This is fourth part of the tutorial series bulk RNA-seq data analysis. And in this part, I'm going to show you that how you can remove the rRNA from the FASTQ file using the package sort me RNA and also perform the QC check. So let's start. So I have already installed the sort me RNA package in my Conda environment. But if you visit the Google and search the sort me RNA, you can download the package and all the other information from here i will provide the link in my description so that you can download directly and if you open the sort me rna here you can see manual in the pdf they have provided all the information regarding this package like how you can install the package using different resources and the database how you can prepare the rRNA database indexing of rRNA database using the index db command and this is the command for the indexing of the rRNA database here you can see they have provided all the detail about the database of rRNA and also the command to perform the sort me rna function to remove the rRNA now I'm going to open my terminal sudo su for the root user and I'm going to open a new terminal to open the script file sudo su in the first terminal I'm going to Activate the Conda environment. Conda activate RNA seq demo. RNA seq demo environment is active in this window as well. Change the directory RNA seq ls to see the file and directory and i'm going to see the file in the raw file directory for this ls dot forward slash raw file 01r1 fastq 01r2 so this is read one and read two fastq file and also for the sample two read one and read two along with the merge fastq file so we need merge file for the removal of rrna from the raw fastq file so i already merged the all the file except sample one read one and read two because i wanted to show you that how you can merge the fastq file so there are many tools to merge and unmerge the fastq file but i'm going to show you here the sort me rna package if you download the package and open the script folder here you can see merge pair read.sh and unmerge pair read.sh two script is available you have to just move or copy paste these script file into your bin directory where script file generally present and system use those script file for the work so i am going to show you how you can use these script merge and unmerge in the conda environment for this if you type conda info command here you can see here environment directories root mini conda environment so we have to check our environment that is rna seq demo in this environment directory and there will be the bin directory in that particular environment so to check that i'm going to show you the ls command ls forward slash true mini conda 3 environment rna seq demo and if you press enter you can see the file and directories present at this location so in this rna seq demo directory in our my conda environment there is a bin directory present so if you again i'm going to see the files in the bin directory 
So I am using the RLS command and pirate search press enter there are many files available in this bin directory so conda environment use these files to run the packages and all other things that is specifically for the current environment in the conda and you can see here merge pair read dot ss that i already copy and paste in this directory so you have to paste these two files in this bin directory of conda environment so that you can use this script to merge and unmerge the fastq file so this is very necessary and if you search for the unmerge pair readers sh here you can see unmerge pair read.sh file is also available here so i already pasted these two script in this bin directory and the other thing you have to perform the chmod space plus x and the file for script name to make the file executable from the bin directory so you have to perform these two things first move these script in the bin directory of the conda environment root mini conda environment and your current environment are in a demo bin directory you have to paste these two script and you have to make these script executable using the chmod command so that you can perform the these two function merge and unmerge so i'm going to clear the page here you can see i have already merged the sample number two three and four fastq file so i'm going to show you that for the sample one read one and read two how you can merge these two read into one file here I'm going to show you the script that we are using for the analysis. So I'm going to change the directory. RNASIC nano. Here it is step three, and I already command for merge the file. So I'm going to just remove the hash so that this command is active. Right now I'm going to save the file control o now i'm going to run the script using the power slash rnasic demo press enter here you can see we have assigned the folder graph file so the merge file will be present in this directory here you can see script is running now you can see process is complete and for the sample one merge file is present in the directory so our next task is rRNA removal using the sartme rna so before rRNA removal we need rRNA database and now here i'm going to show you if you open the download sartme rna rRNA database you can see they have provided the fastq file for all the rRNA available and the other folder is the index so you can see these are the index file that i already prepared in this folder but if you open any new downloaded start me rna directory and open this if you open the index there is no index file so first you have to prepare the index for this rrna database so this is very important see the command if you enlarge this index db here you can see the command for the rrna index so index db underscore rna space hyphen reference genome so this is the reference genome that is already present in this sort me rna rna database r and other so you have to prepare the index file for all the first file rna database so you can see the command here first the reference first file and the path for this file and also the location of your index folder and put the same file name but remove the dot faster from the rna database file so run for each faster file so you will generate the index file that 
I shown in my case so I prepared all the index file so you have to do this process otherwise you will not be able to make the rRNA database to run the sort me RNA package so the next is prepare rRNA database so we for this we need to make the environment variable here I prepared export sort me RNA underscore DB this is the environment variable that I have prepared for the rRNA database so I'm going to show you here here you can see the command export sort me RNA underscore DB equal to file path for the rRNA tab database pasta file for each file and the, also the index file for that particular pasta file and you can use the colon to separate the pasta file of the RNA database so basically you have to put the pasta file and the index file for each RNA database and run the command export to make the environment variable so that you can use this to run the sort me RNA package I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste here press enter so to check any environment variable you can use the command echo dollar sign variable name in my case sort me RNA underscore DB if you press enter you can see this have the information about the database so in this way you have to prepare the index file and the rRNA database and now I'm going to show you how you can perform the sort me RNA package to remove the rRNA here you can see the command for the sample one like this for the sample two three and four first I'm going to show you for the sample one so it takes time and depends on your computer if you open the you can see the command that I have already written here but if you want to check in the sort me RNA package you can type in the terminal sort me RNA space hyphen H here you can see sort me RNA reference database for the rRNA and the index file and the read file align base name and the output so you have to put all these things in this order so I'm going to show you to clear the command so here you can see the command sort me RNA space hyphen hyphen reference sort me RNA DB that is the database that we have prepared and reads the location of your merge file of sample 1 parent hyphen A32 this is the core of your system so you have to put according to your core present in your system and the fast text align and the directory of the subset rRNA so this is the file of rRNA that this package will remove so this is the file of rRNA that is removed from the merge fast file and also the file name of your RNA seq data so I'm going to save this file so I'm going to run the script to perform the sort me RNA analysis here you can see temporary file is generated subset rRNA past Q and the subset rRNA log file along with the sort me RNA fast Q file and this take the time because it is very much depend on your system configuration Here you can see in my case there are 32 thread and all the thread is allotted for the sort me RNA script even in this condition it is taking time to complete the RNA process here sort me RNA fast queue file size is 1 GB but it will be but it will be increased upon time and the completion of sort me RNA process now the process is complete and you can see the sort me RNA fast file 
and the rrna first queue file and also the log of rrna and if you open this you can see here all the information about the rrna and the, here is the result total reads total read passing e value threshold and the rrna content you can see here in the percentage and the maximum percentage of rrna is eukaryotic 18 years so in this way you can get the information and now i'm going to put the hash here in my script file so that next time this script or command not run again so i'm going to move the log file rrna and the sort me rna fastq file in the directory that i have already prepared like sort me rna file and the log file from the raw file directory so for this i'm going to use mv command and the file name stern.log and here the direct the destination dot forward slash sort me rna log file press enter the next i'm going to move the sort me rna fastq file star dot sort me rna so here i made mistake I'm going to change this not using the dot here so enter. I'm also going to move this rrna fastq file in the directory rrn so so I'm going to move this file I'm using the subset from the file name destination of RNA press enter now we can check that the RRNA all the first queue file I mean the RRNA in the sort me RNA file we have all the sort me RNA first queue file So our next aim is to unmerge the sort me RNA fastq file because these are the merge file from the read1 and read2. So for this I have already written the command here. You can see here unmerge hyphen pair hyphen read dot sh and the file path sort me RNA fastq file and the read one and the read two you can rename according to your requirement so i'm going to remove the hash from every command so that we can run all four commands for all merge file i'm going to save this script and run here It is showing unmerge parry dot sh not found so i'm going to check this in my bin directory root miniconda environment rna sick demo bin so here you can see unmerge paired reads dot sh file name is present but in in the script file it is only read so that is the error in the script so i'm going to change this reads in every case and save the script i'm going to clear the case and again run the script now you can see script is running and we will see the read1 and read2 in this 
साथ नहीं आ रहेंगे डायरेक्टरी Here you can see process is complete and now I am going to remove the merge sort me RNA fastq file. So for this I am using the rm command. Sort me RNA dot fastq. Because here you can see in the merge file, I have sort me RNA dot fastq in the file name. So I am using this to remove the all the merge file. Press enter. You can see all the merge files removed from this folder. And in the script, I am going to put the hash to stop the command for the next time. And the next step is perform the fast QC on the sort me RNA fast Q file. So step six fast QC of sort me RNA file. For this, I'm using I'm going to use the command fast qc hyphen t 33 32 hyphen o output directory so i'm going to first make a directory mkdir sort me rna qc press enter so here I'm going to provide the output directory. So me RNA QC and the input directory sort me RNA file. In which we have the sort me RNA fastq file. So I'm going to put the value star dot fastq to set the script press enter and i'm going to run the script script is running and The process is complete for the sort me RNA file. Fast QC result is generated, and you can check the result of fast QC basic stack per base sequence quality per sequence quality score, and all the other information you can check for the sort me RNA fast Q file. But I'm going to show you the other very important thing multi QC to show the combined. QC result. I'm going to put the hash. I'm going to put the hash. So step same in multi QC. Multi QC and input directory. First, I'm going to provide the input directory for the sort me RNA QC. And the other directory that is raw fast QC data I'm going to use to see in the multi QC for this fast QC and I'm also going to use the sort me RNA log file
to get the QC result in the combined form. And in the last, I'm going to provide the hyphen O and the directory sort me RNA QC save and I'm going to run the script. So multi QC complete and going to check the result in the sort me RNA QC directory you can see the report is present and you can open this and now you can check the result for every file here in the multi QC sort me RNA merge file 1 2 3 and sample 4 and you can see the data here So in this way you can run the sort me RNA package to remove the RRNA from your RNA data file and also run the multi QC to see the quality control check for all the step and for all the file that you are using. I hope this may help you in your RNA data analysis journey and if you like the video please subscribe my channel. Thank you.